Hello Delphi programmers. Today we're going to learn how to position our controls or components on our form at runtime. What this means is that we're going to place the controls on our form and then in code view we're going to code in the position, color, and other attributes of the controls so that whenever we run the form the properties will show during runtime. So let's jump in here and get started. First thing we want to do is that we want to bring our form down to a decent size here. And let's add a couple of controls. First we want a panel 1, we're going to place it right here, and then a panel 2, place it right here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to align our panel 1 to our left, and then we're going to align our panel 2 to the right. And so we're going to do that in what is called code view, which is here. And so first thing we're going to do is that we're going to double click on our form and that creates our form create procedure. And from here is where we're going to actually type in our attributes for our form to make it or for our controls to make them do what we want them to do whenever we run the program. So let's go ahead and start. So panel 1, well, let's jump up here right quick. This is our panel 1. AL left. Okay, and then we want our panel one to have a color. And we're going to do CL black. Now for our panel two, we're going to do panel two dot align. equals AL client and then panel 2 dot color and we're going to do CL white okay so whenever we run our program here it is going to align our panel 1 to the left which is over here and then it's going to give it the color black and then our panel 2 is going to be aligned to the right or to all client as in it's going to take up all the space and then it's going to be colored white so let's give it um, panel one dot width and we are going to give it uh, 200 and then so this way our panel is going to be the width of 200 and then our panel 2 it's going to take up the remainder of the client that is left over. So let's go ahead and click here. And this is the width of 200 and our panel 2 takes up the remainder of the client window or the client form. And then whenever we see our panel 2 resizes as the form gets bigger or smaller, but our panel 1 stays the same size. So, next let's um, we want to get rid of our writing. You can either go to your panel 1 here and delete your caption, or you can type it in here. Panel 1 dot caption, colon equals, and that right there will get rid of your caption. And then we want to do the same thing over here as well, so that whenever we run it, there's no caption. You can see it's just a blank field. See, uh, it's good to always keep it in here so that you know that, that is your panel 1, that's your panel 2. Because if you remove the text here, then you won't, will not be able to know which one it is until you actually click on them. So I like to leave it on there, leave uh, the caption on there so that I know what each one of them is. So let's say that you want your form to have a caption of its own instead of it showing form one up here. Let's just say form one dot caption oh. uh, colon equals let's um Target Effects T V Delphi program. And then whenever we run it Our caption says Dark Effects TV Dev File Programming. And so this way, instead of 
you can actually go here uh, right here and type it in here or you can type it in here I like doing everything inside of code view it gives you it actually gets you used to how things work in code view so let's do form one dot width and let's do 500 no, let's do 700 and form one dot height on equals 500 and let's do form one dot position on equals PO desktop center okay now what this is going to do is it's going to make the width of our form here 700 and the height of our form is going to be 500 and then our position is going to be position which is PO desktop center so it's going to place it in the center of the desktop and this right here will come in handy for your programs because sometimes I've downloaded the software and installed it and it be sitting right there whenever it loads what that is, is that's the last time that that program was run within uh, Delphi and the person that designed the program with Delphi or, or visual effect uh, visual studio or whatever anyway um, what th what happens is that whenever uh, the person last run it they might have had the form sitting right here or up here or whatever and they forgot to recompile it before they uh, sent out the exe for us to download and run so that just basically shows poor programming on their part so if you was to Move that and then have it sitting right here and run it. As you can see, it's positioned down here to the bottom. And then you can position it over here. So let's just say that you designed your program and you, the last time that you run it, you moved the form over here to your side to make sure everything was run right. And then you compiled it. And then once you compiled it, it ran and it sets it right over here and you didn't feel like recompiling it again so in this case you have it set here or you can scroll down and go to the position which is right here and choose from this area where you want it at and like I said I like to code it inside so if you got it sitting right there and then you run it it's still going to position it in the center because we have this right here written in position desktop center and so that is our lesson for today I hope that you enjoyed this quick example of how to position your controls in code view so that in runtime they will take on the attributes that you have chosen once again this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV have a rocking new week and remember help stop the violence towards women gays lesbians and those that are different and help to bring a stop to bullies in our schools and workplace. Thank you. Enjoy.